gonna tell you a story. Thank you. Who's that? Dad sent Jen. Thanks, George Jamie Bailey. She's so right, so this is in Grand Canaria. You ready? So I used to work at a bar, and it were on the bottom of the steps next to the bin room and the sex club. <laughs> I'm not going to mention the name because it's all dead to me and they're all dead to me, so there we go. In the past... <laughs> oh, I'm not doing no makeup. Fuck off, I look like Nicola Sturgeon. <laughs> Stay in the fucking house. So Richard Burton came in, beautiful looking. Honestly, all us girls are... Ah, you know where boy was? I don't know if any of you have ever been anywhere. And you, and you go in and there's a beautiful person and you can't stop looking at him. Well, it was Richard Burton, and he was sat there with this fucking bloke. So me on, I'm on fucking farm, top farm. Janice is pissed, I'm picking her up fucking floor. Daisy Diamond thinking she's a woman, and Ellen's fucking fucking Picks is pissed, limping. So I'm there, and I went, oh, nice to see you brought your son in to Richard Burton's fucking friend. I thought it was his friend, it was only his fucking husband. Well, the husband first dropped through the floor, obviously it was a bit older. You got dad to send me money. There's no way I'll drink Glenn's. Honestly, the day I'm poor, Bobby Musgrove, my husband to be, I'm on. Bobby, you'll be proud of me as I've been in the drummer chance that fuck her, four o'clock on a Saturday afternoon. Fuck it. We're all gonna die of COVID. And um, so Richard Burton sat there in this fucking seat and he had a tiny pair of shorts on. It was so short I could see him changing my mind. I'm behind the DJ box with Fanny's doing fucking flip flaps. Richard Burton sat there. And his boyfriend was vile. Honestly. Anyway, Richard sat there. And he said something about... I can't remember what it were. And he said something like... Oh, yeah, da 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 Yeah, he went for you. Do you remember, Richard? Well, I got friendly with... No, this was another night. Right, I'm gonna... I'm digressing. Oh, hang on, my memory's gone. It's all coming back to me. Right, so the first night they come in, we had a right laugh with them. The second night I said about, oh, you brought your son in and he got nasty. So Richard sat there and Richard said something and his boyfriend, don't you fucking speak like that in front of me. And I heard it and I was taken aback. Now, if anybody's been to that bar where I used to work in Grand Canaria, you'll know the DJ box is here and Richard was sat on the double doors, half in the terrace and half out inside, if you know what I mean, out in it. Of course, we all fancied Richard and nobody looked at this other bloke he were with. He was nice looking, older, what the gays call a daddy. But not my type. Anyway, he went for you. Don't you fucking speak like that. Really aggressive. And I, I, I was taken aback. I was hosting and I was like... So anyway, so I carried on. And I said to Richard, when I got him on his own, I said, I said, what? I said, I thought you was happy. You know, when two gays are sat there and you think they're together, I went, I thought you was happy. Fucking hell. Well, it turns out Richard's split up with him because it, it was it was like that Jeff off Coronation Street controlling and everything. Anyway, Richard, you're happier now. I've seen you um, shaking hands with Mel C, Mel B, whatever she's fucking called from the Spice Girls, and doing your fucking um, gyms. Shing Surtis, I'd fucking suck that right off. Stephen, how's the bins? <laughs> Oh, we abuse you. All right, don't fucking write it on here. We're having a nice time. <laughs> Not interested in your fucking what he did behind closed doors. It's gays, love. They're all the fucking same. At least you're happy. I don't want to know what I did. I'm getting a vision of behind <laughs> abusing you. The fucking rolling pin. My family's doing flip flaps. <laughs> I've lost viewers now because you're being depressive. Anyway, fuck it. If you're going to go with fucking half wit gays, then you deserve all you get. So here we go. <laughs> 